Hey everybody, how's it going today? It is me, Captain Energy, and I have a fast video for you if you are a Cubase user using Reason as a plugin. Um, in some cases, you will notice, and this happens in many DAWs, I don't know uh, every other DAWs situation, but I do know Cubases. Sometimes you'll install your uh, VSTs and Cubase won't pick them up. And you're wondering, well, where is it? I installed it, it should be here, right? Well, yes and no. Sometimes, uh, Cubase needs a little bit of assistance finding what you're looking for. Now, this can be done one of a couple ways. One is if it's already been found, you should be able to just ref refresh the list and it will pop in. If it has not already been found, we need to point to the parent folder where it's contained. Let me show you. Uh, first of all, if you do have it installed correctly, and if I went over to VST here and I just went over and typed in reason. There we go. There's reason right there. So mine is set up right. If I just drag it out, drop it in here, um, it will open up uh, reason as a plugin within Cubase. Now, in order to make that work, what you need to do, let's take one second while I wait for this to, come on guys. <laughs> there we go. All right, um, just close that for a second. Well, at least get it out of the way. If I go over here to studio and then we go down to, um, uh, VST plugin manager right here. Uh, if reason is already showing in here, so if I scroll down, for example, we'll go down to we'll sort by vendors and we'll go down to reason and then right above Rob Pappen, reason studios. Boom. So that means that if it shows up here, it is installed correctly and you just need to do that. Go over here, type reason and it will show up and then you should be able to get going. Same thing for effects. It shows up as effects and it shows up as an instrument, two different places uh, and can be pulled in from either. So it'd be in effects as well over here. If it's not there, then chances are it needs a path down here, okay? In the case of my particular machine, and this is the default. So if you installed according to the Reason Studios default, your plugin should be here as well. Uh, you would want to go right here click plus and then go to drive C program files common files and then VST3 in here you will see uh, well it looks like there's just a couple folders but really you can't see them um, what's actually in there is all, a bunch of VSTs. I'm going to bring over this other folder here. This is the actual Windows folder and not the Cubase folder. And here you see a bunch of VSTs I have installed here. Okay. And then if I go over here to Reason Rack Plugin VST3, double click that, you can see in here that what you're looking for is right here. Here's the actual plugin and here's all the supporting information that goes with it. I, I don't know all of what's going on in here, honestly because uh, I've never actually sat and looked at it for very long. But this is the uh, the general information that is needed for this to work with your code, basically. This is, this is the plugin. So if you've got that folder put in here, like I just did right here, and I hit Select Folder, okay, and it would add it to my list, which it's already in my list, so it's not going to add it again. Um, if it does, I'll have to delete it. See, this is a VST2 one also. Uh, but it is VST3 in this case. Uh, and then once that's done, what you would do is just, you don't need to like restart Cubase or anything because <clears throat> even if you do, there's no guarantee Cubase is going to pick it up because it might think it already scanned that folder. What you need to do is hit this recycle button right here. Click that. And then Cubase is going to scan through all the folders you have selected down here and tell you that either there's a new something or not a new something. In this case, there's zero new effects, zero new instruments found. Um, and that's just the way it is for me because I don't have anything going in. But if you were not connected before, if your folder was not pointed to and there were a bunch of VSTs in there, you may have 20 VSTs suddenly show up. Anyway, that's pretty much the whole video. I wanted to just get that out there uh, for Harry Music. He actually was the one who asked this question. I hope that helped somebody. Yeah. I hope that helped somebody. Have a great day, and I will talk to you in the next video. Be safe, everybody. Bye for now.